Hey everybody, we're back. If you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon. If you're not new, then thanks for coming back. Today's video, I'm going to talk about how I became a successful brand ambassador. And by successful, I mean that I do receive a check. This check is for $1,130. I did purchase something from the company. So if I didn't purchase anything, this check would have been for $1,180. This is just a passive income. I did not start um, like with a large following on Instagram or anything. I had a few hundred followers. I had just started a channel, but I started making money and I slowly learned what I needed to do to make more money, to grow these, to get these checks to grow every time they came in. And so now every few months I have a check come in and it's, a very nice passive income, like a very nice passive income. So let's go over the things that I have learned in this whole brand ambassador journey. First of all, you can be a brand ambassador for a number of different things. It could be like women's clothing. It could be Red Bulls, Xboxes, um, wagons like me. You can be a brand affiliate for Macy's, Target, Amazon. So there's a number of different ways you can make this type of money with different companies and you don't really have to do that much. Let's get it started. I am going to be looking over occasionally, you'll see me doing this, um, because I did write everything down. I have my laptop here so I can look at it. I, I, I just don't wanna forget anything um, because I feel like all of these talking points were really, really key to what got me to getting checks this size. Okay, so the first thing I wanna say is it's really important to partner with a company um, or a brand or an item or something that you are passionate about, that you believe in, because it's easier to sell something that you use regularly, that you love, that it's it's just easy. If you were talking to your friend and you were telling your friend about some makeup or this new whatever it is, kitchen item or whatever, and you loved it, it would be easy for you to sell it to her if you had to sell it because you love it. So that would be the number one thing I would say is, is important. The rest are just going to be tips that I have picked up along the way that have helped me make you know, four figure checks every few months without really doing all that much. So you need to know who you are promoting to, who is your audience. For me with Wonderfold, I, this check that I have here is from Wonderfold. If you don't know, I'm a brand ambassador for them. I have a whole playlist um, of videos that have to do with wagons, but I had to figure out who's my audience. So obviously because it is a stroller wagon, my audience is going to be majority moms or parents, but normally it's moms with smaller children or possibly if they're older children, they're children that maybe have a disability. But in general, my audience, my target is going to be moms. Now, different ways that you can promote your item that you're trying to sell or clothes or whatever it is that you're trying to sell is clearly you can do videos like YouTube videos, which is what I originally started doing with Wonderfold. Um, I started doing the videos and I would put my code and I'd say, hey, here's my code. Or if I do a video and you happen to see my wagon, I will just mention it really quick and be like, oh, hey, if you want to get a wagon, you know, here's my code, here's the website, whatever. That's a simple way. But then I will also promote those videos on Facebook or Instagram in my stories or different social media platforms. I use those to promote the videos as well. The next thing that I think is really helpful, obviously, if you're promoting your videos, you can promote the wagon or the clothes or whatever just on your social media, on your Instagram feed and your stories, on your Facebook, on your Facebook stories, on Twitter, Snapchat, on all of those things, TikTok, you can promote them. The key to doing that though is you're going to want to have really good pictures. So use presets, make sure that your picture is aesthetically pleasing in a nice area. Like you don't want to take a picture of your kids in the wagon by a dumpster right? You want to have a nice picture. You want to post it for everybody to see, share it, whatever. If it's clothes, 
you want your kids to be wearing like a cute outfit and then you post the picture of the kids in the cute outfit and you say like, oh, we got this from whoever, you tag it. Um, if you have a promo code, you put your promo code down there. Hopefully the company would share your picture if it looks good and maybe that could help you too. Also, if I know that Wonderful is having a sale, like a 4th of July sale or a Christmas sale or whatever kind of sale where they're gonna have the wagons 25% off. I might post a link or something on my Facebook and say, hey, these wagons are, you know, on sale right now and you can use my code on top of that. And that will help you because who doesn't love a sale plus a promo code on top of a sale. But another way when you're looking into social media, another really, really great way is say I take a picture of my kids in the wagon and it's a great picture. Well, I can go into a group, like a mom group and post this picture and be like, look at my kids, they look so cute. Now don't, don't think I'm being sneaky. I'm, this is smart, okay? So I'm just trying to help you out. You post the picture of your kids looking super cute in the wagon and you just say, hey, my kids look super cute, blah, blah, blah. Then people will agree and say, oh, your kids look cute. But there will also be people who will say, hey, that's a dope ass wagon. What is that? And then you can start a conversation from there. And then after that, you also should think outside of the box. Okay, think outside of the box now. As a mom of twins, I can go into different groups that maybe you can't go into because you don't have twins. So I can go into a twin mom group and do that. A triplet mom can't go into a twin mom group. A singleton mom can't do that, but I can. Then there are also twins, multiples, whatever. So twins, triplets, quads, all of those. I can go into that group. Think about what groups you can go into to promote without seeming like you're promoting because then you have the upper hand because not everybody can go in there. If I'm being honest, I would assume majority of the brand ambassadors for Wonderful are not minorities. So I could go into a minority group and um, post a picture of my kids or a moms of multiples that are minorities group and post a picture. And even if you're a mom of multiples, if you're not a minority, you're not in that group. So I can go in there and do that. And it's a great way to promote. But the other thing is, because I believe in the product, I use the product daily. Like I don't have any other strollers. This is the only stroller I have because I like it that much. It's easy for me to talk to other people and sell that item. Now, another thing that I've also done with the wagon, and I'm sure you could do this with other things that you are trying to sell is I made an iron on decal with my Cricut and I ironed it onto the fabric on my wagon next to the wonderful logo. And when people come up to me and they ask me, oh my God, what kind of wagon is this or whatever? I say, oh, it's a wonderful. I tell them that I have a promo code and that they can actually take a picture of it where it says wonderful and it says my promo code. People don't lose their phones. If they do, their pictures are all backed up in the cloud somewhere. Um, you could give out business cards, which could be helpful, but realistically, when somebody goes to the bathroom, they take their phone. When they go to the gas station, they take their phone. When they get in bed, they take their phone. Not many people in 2020 are holding on to business cards. So I think that's a really, really great way to be able to have people remember you they take a picture of the wagon they have the logo they have your code they can go back and reference it later so that's another thing that i have done that i think has personally helped me well before the virus started and we were actually able to go out it's definitely helped me because i have definitely had a lot of people take pictures of the wagon and the sign and everything and buy the wagon from there i will say that every Every time I get a check, it's not as good as this check. This is the best check I have ever gotten, but I have gotten checks for a few hundred dollars before also. Um, and either way, this is just a passive income. If you can do a video, say you're selling women's clothes, you do an unboxing video, you upload that to YouTube. Well, that's still gonna get viewed. My first video that I ever filmed was my wonderful wagon video. That video has, I don't know, 10, 12,000 views. It's been up for months. It's still being viewed, which means people are still seeing my code. And I do new videos on the wagon and people are still seeing my code. If you're a brand affiliate for Amazon, you link 
say I got this, I didn't get this shirt from Amazon. I, I got it from Walmart and I made my own logo on it. But say you get this from Amazon and you post a picture of yourself and you say, okay, love my outfit, love my new shirt. You can post your Amazon link. People will go. If they like it, they'll look. And the thing that I've just learned about being an Amazon affiliate is as long as they click that link and then they go and look and they say, okay, I don't like this shirt, but I like this other shirt and I like this other shirt and I like this other shirt and they buy those three other shirts, you get credit for that girl or boy. You get credit for that, okay? Amazon pays you like, really, it's like 4%. It's so, so small, but it's still a passive income. And if you do videos or posts or things like that, you're making money while you're sleeping, while you're at the store, while you're watching TV. People can watch your videos or see your posts and go to those links. So I really just wanted to share this because people have been asking me for a while now how I became um, a successful brand ambassador. And by people, I mean like two people DM'd me once. Um, <laughs> like, but really, I, I, I mean, I have had like two or three people ask me and I feel like um, there's some, some things that people just don't want to share with you. And I don't see why because I think that it's beneficial to help other people. And I feel like this is one of those videos that could really, really help other people. Um, I'm sure that there are other ways that you could be a successful brand ambassador. If you know them, drop them in the comments so I can test them out because although this check was good, I don't know what my next check is going to look like. Um, so I always have room for improvement, but I hope this video has helped some of y'all. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Oh yeah, we started a TikTok. It's twins underscore times underscore two super cute but you might find a different mom over there than what you expected because tiktok is um very liberating and you can there's no shame over there so anyway anyway if you haven't already don't forget to like subscribe comment share click the bell and all those good things bye